What's going on, folks? And we are back coming to you live from SHOT Show 2017. This is the day before the last day of SHOT Show. And um, I actually haven't really got a chance to see much of anything for the most part. But usually what I typically do is on the last day, I kind of make my rounds. And, and so if you see me in full sprint, just get out of my way. <laughs> now, joining me live, I have a very special guest. I have Adam from Palmetto. And then... Do I really need to introduce you? Well, yes, sir. Carl. <laughs> How you doing? Mr. Carl Malone. From Palmetto. <laughs> That's my boy. Hey, hey, hey. hey. hey yeah, uh, just, let's forget everything else from the past. This is Carl Malone, Carl Malone from Palmetto. We, That's we it. just get that That's out it. there. We just move on now. We're moving on. Man. I'm not going to lie to you, man. You're setting off, you guys are really setting off some Napoleon complex in me right now. You yeah. know, I'm, just, I'm feeling a lot smaller in life right now. But, but why? I mean, we, we got, all sitting down. It's like it makes a difference. Well, I don't know. I just thought maybe I add to it. We're just sitting here. We, I'm sorry. We can stand over you, you if you, you like. Were, I mean, yeah. I mean, I can stand on shoulders. I'm, I'm good for that that's too. Fine. Somebody yeah. else's or ours. I mean, it doesn't see, make a see difference. See what happens. Somebody got to start talking about the short and tall jokes. You, you know, know what? Well, can't we put that can't to we, the you side? Can't we just get along? You gave me too much credit. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so Carl, is this is this your first shot show? Yes, it is first. So, what, Absolutely. so what, what do you think? Tell me. Uh, well, first thing I said when I walked in two days ago, I looked around at him and said, hey, man, what, what are you thinking? I said, oh, yeah, going to disarm America? Good, well, good luck with that shit. <laughs> I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay, come here. It's, it's like walking in a room with yeah. a lot of police officers in there and say, hey, this is a stick gun. Really? <laughs> so so that's, that's what I was thinking. Gotcha. I, it's just gotcha. it's amazing. Yeah, it, it, it is really absolutely is. amazing. Yes. I mean, it's, it's, it's like a carnival for Carnival for Guns. Oh, yeah, I call it yeah. the Comic Con of Comic Guns. Con. You know, there we go. It's the best there way I can go. describe it when people try to figure out what it is. No, absolutely. So, have you seen anything that's really stuck out? Like everything. Everything. But right. I just got this visual because my wife and daughters shop all the time. And I just got this visual like, <laughs> this would this would it be like if a woman walked in and just got every pair of shoes out there. <laughs> this would just feel like for guys, you know, like we used to see this. But I'm like you though. Yeah. I have been. Everywhere, I have not see, enjoyed it myself, yeah, and yeah. I'm like, I want to go do it, but no, no, it's like because you're Carl Malone with Palmetto. He Palmetto. touches, he no, touches. Oh, no, I blame oh. you. I blame yeah. you because you bring the man here and you, and you just tease him and you have him working. Oh well, yeah, that's messed up. But he's not even getting paid, so that's even better <laughs> or worse. Uh -oh. Depends uh -oh. on who you're looking at. Oh god, he got quiet. He didn't say nothing. So okay, so so ten people. Okay, all ten think they're paying me. Really. You do too. See, that you're not my team. No, no, I, I believe they weren't paying you because I know Adam. Right. right. <laughs> oh, wow. I can't let you talk about it. You know well, what? that was a good interview. Yeah. Uh, hold on. I cannot let you talk about Adam. He said, he said, Carl, uh, he said, it's 11 o'clock every day. Excuse me. No, I, no, I said, good. oh, shit. Yes. <laughs> so I got to defend him a little bit. Yeah, you know? Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. That's good. I'm great. I'm just letting you know we're hiring over at Noir. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, you know, if you want to. And they pay. Over, yeah. And they pay. So, <laughs> I mean, it's not going to be much. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, look, when you pay, there's expectations, isn't it? There are expectations, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's keep it like this first. <laughs> let's, just, let's just keep dating. Well, by the time we get married, you know, we, we've done it now. He's over with enough, Fair enough. <laughs> so, fair enough. <laughs> so uh, Carl, you're, you're a big hunter. Yes, sir. Right? I'm, I'm, I've hunted once or twice. Yeah. Right? How did, how did you get started in hunting? Is it it's something that was from, from birth? It, well, almost. <laughs> you know, I wasn't inside all the time, but almost. Uh, uh, I was four. My uh -huh. brother was five when I shot my first gun. Okay. Uh, wow. A little single Singles. shot. Uh, we'll call them what? I'm sorry. Like a little cricket, basically. Little cricket. Okay. Cricket. Okay. And uh, my first Daisy BB gun. So I started off then. At uh, seven and eight, year, eight and nine years old, mm -hmm. my brother and I was hunting alone. With our wow. single shot 410. Okay. That's how much love and respect I have for gun. Yes, we're about our Second Amendment, yeah. but I'm also about us doing it the right way yeah. uh, with our Second Amendment. Absolutely. It's, it's a privilege and an honor for me uh, to uh, own a far, firearms. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know, one <laughs> yes, or two. more than one. Well, yeah, right. Right. But right. the thing about it is we have this perception. It is our right, yeah. but we, we all can do more. So... Teaming up with uh, PSA has just been awesome because we met by accident. We met gotcha. on a hunting trip. Really? Yeah. I shouldn't pub them, but I will. Heli hunters. They <laughs> hunt hogs out of a helicopter. I've heard of them. You got to do it. I, and, hey, I'll, I'll ride with you. You, ride, can, you can do your For show. some reason, they wouldn't let us ride together. <laughs> no, they were like, get out of here. It might, might have something to do with, I don't <laughs> a know, A little bit mass. of weight. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so, Scientists but, over here. But see, yeah. I, grew, I grew up in rural uh, North Louisiana. Okay. We're respecting, gun, okay. we're respecting guns all my life. Yeah. Know? We have this... Don't, don't touch that gun, don't touch that gun. What do a kid want to do that's not educated? They, they want to touch, touch that gun, gun yeah. right? And then for the life of me, have you ever, why, why do we look down the barrel of a gun? 
Seriously. Yeah. Like, but it, it's very intuitive. It's kind of like when you give a gun to somebody who doesn't know much of fire, first thing you want to do is put the finger on it. Right. Yeah. And then, have you ever seen it sideways? <laughs> and I love all this. I know you do. Yeah. I'm not putting a loaded gun down there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But what I'm saying is yeah. the perception. So when I met Adam by accident and they had this idea, we partners in something that's, that's, that's pretty, pretty special. Gotcha. It's the American uh, Way Conservation Society. Uh, and we, we formed that to go in and educate inner city youth. We get this perception that inner city, the inner cities is all black. Yeah. It's all racist. Yeah. So we go out there and we educate them. And, we, and I'm excited. Uh, uh, San Francisco, yeah. Chicago, D.C., uh, L.A., yeah. uh, those are the places we're going. So we mean, but we need a civilized conversation. Gotcha. If you and I are yelling at each other all the time, right? That's all we hear. Yeah. You know, so uh, we're very excited. So. You know, you pointed something that's very interesting about um, going into the inner cities and basically bring them into environments that they've never been to before. For me, I'm a city kid. I'm a, city, I'm a concrete jungle rat, as I like to call myself. Right. Um, before I got into firearms, I used to shoot my first gun until I was about 25. Right. And I didn't have an appreciation for the outdoors until I started getting into guns. Right. Because it kind of forced you, right, you know, right. by, the na- by very, its very nature, right. out into the, into the open. Because I can't just walk down Santa Monica Boulevard and just start shooting. You can't? <laughs> well, I mean, I they can't. frown on it. They, they frown on it, yeah. I, I can, outside of Ruston, Louisiana. I can. What's wrong with you? Well, it's Santa Monica Boulevard, Louisiana. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, I, there's I, this. I understand <laughs> what you're saying. <laughs> hey, look, but, back, back home, back home, literally, when we moved back home. My son and his teammates would go duck hunt before uh-huh. school. Every vehicle pickup, right? Yeah. Every vehicle got a gun rack in it with multiple guns in it and pull on campus. Now? Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, God. Yeah, no, so you, I, you I feel have SWAT, FBI. Oh, yeah. Lord. And I feel your pain. Yeah. yeah so, yeah, so oh, yeah. no, but I definitely I developed a, a love for the outdoors because of firearms. Right. And so hearing you say that, I, I, already, I already know the benefits and the positives that are going to come from that. Right. So. Well, well see... People have got to realize it as well. Who taught you? See, I was taught by my mom and yeah. grandfather. Mm-hmm. So my sons and daughters are teaching their kids gotcha. now. Yeah. And we're not forcing it down your throat. Yeah. Therefore, don't try to add this legislation that forces it down, down our down throat. Our thoughts, yeah. So we're coming to D.C. Go exactly. Ahead. Go ahead. Well, that's, that's the most important part is what Carl was saying is we're not trying to force it down your throat. We don't need you to force your no, no. beliefs down ours. That's what the American Conservation, American Way Conservation Society is all about, preserving, conserving the American way. The American way is very simple. Yeah. It means this is a country of a melting pot, both of, of races but of also beliefs. You know, you do not have the right as another person to look at another law-abiding citizen and tell them you have to have this certain religion. Yeah. You have to have this certain creed. You have to have this certain sexuality. So what gives anybody a right to say you do not have the right to own a firearm or operate a firearm Absolutely. and that's what we're, that's what we're trying to get the message out there we respect your point of view all we're asking is you do the same with us and realize that what we are our lifestyle is helping conserve sure. your way yeah. right. of life and the only way to do that unfortunately it's such a hot topic yeah. that people instantly bristle up and what starts happening we yell and when we yell we don't listen yep. so we need to have a civil dialogue in a sense as Carl said Extend an olive branch. Yeah. And right. we'll go to your turf. We'll come into your field yeah. and we'll sit there with you. And there's only two rules to this. Don't interrupt and don't insult and don't raise your voice. I'm all for And that. if you can do that, we're going to sit down and have these open forums and actually have discussions. We've invi- invited organizations like Mothers Demand Action who are, you know, historically anti-firearm establishments. Yeah. And we're asking them to come and sit with us, have open dialogue where you actually express your issues and let's find that happy medium. Absolutely. You know, as a manufacturer... We even realize there are issues out there. You know, as a, as a celebrity status, as, but as a, as a gun owner, yeah. we realize there are issues out there, you know, as a host. Yeah. So how do we find that medium without creating a slippery slope yeah. that protects everybody's rights and everybody can feel as comfortable? Because there is that way. And if we can sit down and have open dialogue, yeah. what can we accomplish? Yeah, I think, I think one of the, the, the biggest misnomers out there is when, when something happens in this space, within this political sphere, there's this automatic assumption that... We're, we're all just apathetic. Like, we don't care about people dying who shouldn't be dying. Think we're, you know, there's this, this idea that we're just like, oh, oh let everybody die. We don't care. I, yeah, but, like the, I think they think we're wearing top hats at the top of a building. Yeah. Going, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's not, you know, we're neighbors. We, we, yeah. We're members of this community. Yeah. I Kids go to the same here. school. We, we don't, don't want to see the same one child yeah. dying from a gun accident is one too many. Absolutely. You know, and that is how we are. So it's important to us that we get that message out there. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate everything you guys are doing. 
However, I can be a part of it and help you guys, I'm all for it. Thank, the world thank, thank, thank you, you very, very much, much again, man. Yes, it's sir. a pleasure meeting you. Thank Absolutely. You thank you very much, Adam. Yes, sir. All right. And so there you guys have it. It's another awesome, awesome episode of Seeing Live. Thank you for joining us at SHOT Show 2017. And join us again first thing Monday.